Well, hello there. My name is Angelique Glavoy Torres. I'm a developer advocate here at Dolby. And we have some exciting news about our communications API. So when it comes to noise suppression, uh, we all know it's an algorithm that is essentially detecting the background noise versus the voices. So it takes all those unwanted noises and it eliminates them. But we can all attest to the fact that it always sounds very distorted and it doesn't really do a great job, right? So what if there was a model that actually understood the difference between these two things? What is a background noise and what is a voice? Well, we built exactly just that. Uh, we have created an AI power tools for noise reduction into our communications API. But not only that, we actually want your video to look as amazing as your audio. So we added a couple features for that. Now, it is all way better if I just actually show you. So that, let's, let's go right into it, okay? Okay. So I'm here right now. Um, I'm in a staging version of what the AP, the new features of the API have come out. Um, again, you guys can build this however you like, but just for the examples of it, you can actually see all the features here. So to start out, we're going to talk about video first. If I go over here on the bottom right corner, uh, we can see a couple features. The first one that comes out is actually our facial smoothing. So you can actually see that there's like a couple things on my face right now. This would actually try to take away all those scars or any imperfections that you might have. And even if I move around, the filtering is still applied. So you can still see like less of it. But if I go back into it, then it like harshly presents itself. Same way with the spotlight. It's pretty cool because it actually detects where your face is and it actually eliminates it. So ta-da! Now I, all my shadows and everything just kind of went away. Here's an example again, kind of going away. Now, the auto brightness is not the same thing because we, this room is pretty well lit, but let's say that you were in darker environments, you kind of want the environment to look better. With auto brightness, you make the entire thing be emphasized, not only the face in this case. Now, the auto framing is actually my favorite feature out of them all, which is that whenever you're giving a presentation, right, it actually emphasizes on where you're going and it actually like enhances the experience of where you're moving to. So you don't have to worry about, if you're very dynamic like me, you don't have to worry about really where the camera is paying attention to or having to always be in the center. It would always select you. Now, the last thing that we added for the videos is actually virtual backgrounds. Some of you might have like a messy room or an office. So it might be pretty nice that you don't have any time that just to like put a San Francisco view, right? It detects who I am encapsulates everything else. You can even make the background a little bit blurry. There you go, hide everything else, as well as add customizable uh, views or go to outer space. <laughs> um, so yeah, now I'm gonna cancel this off and let's talk about noise. So we're gonna have to enable the noise reduction over here, but to actually toggle with the settings, I have to go into audio. In audio, I actually, I'm gonna leave it in standard. We have documentation on our music and on process it most, um, but I'm not gonna cover those today. Uh, so just purely on standard. And now the noise reduction levels can actually be categorized as either low or high. I'm just gonna leave it at high so you guys see the example. And then we're not gonna talk about voice fonts, but let's say you wanted to be a robot a AM radio talk show um, or a fucking robot, you can actually have all of those in. So it's just a matter of that. Uh, but yes, I'm gonna cut this off and actually show you a couple of examples of how noise reduction is enabled. So I am unenabling right now. This is how I sound. Hi, my name is Angelique Lavoy Torres and this is the room. It has a little bit of an echo, right? This is now enabling noise reduction. Hi, my name is Angelique La uh, Lavoy. This room has a little bit of an echo. And we'll see the difference, right? We're, we're gonna, I'm recording this so you guys can actually see the difference between these two things. Now, I'm gonna unenable it again and I'm gonna do it while typing. I'm gonna go, hi, my name is Angelique Lavoy Torres. Today I am working on this thing and it is going pretty great. I'm enabling it. Hi, my name is Angelique Lavoy Torres and today is a pretty good day. There you go. And then the other cool thing is that if there were people talking, fans and everything, it can 
again, it has all this information of what is background noise and what isn't. So I'll just invite you guys to actually check it out. But those are a couple of like scenarios. Um, I'm just going to show a last one. So I'm just making a lot of noise right now in case there was a drilling noise. And we'll see how good it like processes all this. But um, this is actually available not only in the virtual world, but also just on the web. All of these SDKs that I'm going to be showing on the screen. And it's pretty great because we don't charge you additionally for this new feature. It's all implemented because we believe in giving you a high quality experience, both in audio and in vision. So thank you for being here and stay tuned for the next update that might come around.